let us continue with the uh, next topic that is data loading process so the heart of useful data warehouse is the process to populate the data warehouse with good quality data and this is called etl etl e stands for extract uh, t stands for transform and l stands for load that means the data warehouse the quality of the data warehouse depends on these three terms that is extract transform and load means uh, you have to extract data from somewhere from the source reliable sources you have to transform it according to in a proper format standard format and then you have to load those data in the data warehouse <clears throat> so let us go uh, line by line in detail uh, data should be extracted from the operational database sources as well as from the other applications on a regular basis already we studied what are the different data sources available where from where we can get the data so properly from reliable sources data should be extracted and the extracted data should be aligned together by key fields and integrated into a single data set <clears throat> all the data should be aligned in a row or column format uh, in a single data set using the some primary key or secondary key it should be cleansed of any irregularities or missing values if any uh, missing values are there those columns should be deleted and desired fields such as daily sales total should be computed the entire data should then be brought to the same format as the central table of the data warehouse means the second uh, point means the extracted data need to be formatted transformed according to a standard format whatever we require for our business purpose and third one is loading the transformed data then should be loaded or uploaded into the data warehousing this etl process should be run at a regular frequency daily transaction data can be extracted from the erp transformed and uploaded in the database at the same night means this uh, etl extraction transformation and load should be done every day uh, re at regular frequency if uh, every day it is not possible at least uh, some regular frequency frequently it should be uh, the cycle should be processed the, the cycle means uh, extraction transformation and loading thus the data warehousing is up to date every morning now next uh, topic is data warehousing best practices what are the best practices in data warehousing so the data warehousing project should align with the corporate strategy it should be aligned with the corporate strategy the top management should be consulted for setting objectives so here top management uh, always we uh, see that uh, in any organization the top management people deal with the business with another organization so what should be objective of the data warehousing should be set up by the top management so financial viability should be established whether the set objective should be achieved financially or not that also be should be established the project must be managed by both it and business professional so in uh, in the project some terms should be uh, related with the it some terms should be related with the business so uh, we should hire uh, people from both the uh, sides 
some people from the IT field also, some people from the business professional also, so that they can coordinate in developing the project and they can achieve their objective. The data warehousing design should be carefully tested before beginning development work. Since it is a very time consuming and uh, money consuming, so it should be designed properly in the beginning carefully so that our end result should be achieved. If not, then company can lose a huge amount because once again if your objective is not achieved then once again you have to redesign and you have to go through so many phases processes and uh, uh, you will lose so much of money and amount uh, money and time it is often much more expensive to redesign after development work has begun so that's what I told that redesigning is, is a huge expensive and waste of time. Second best practice is it is important to manage user expectations. So this is the main uh, key point of any business. So every company has to fulfill the expectation of users, their customers. The data warehouse should be built incrementally. Users should be trained in using the system so they can absorb many features of the system. Third best practice is quality and adaptability should be built in from the start. Only relevant, cleaned and high quality data should be loaded. So in the data warehousing, only reliable data which is clean structured data with a high quality data should be loaded. The system should be able to adapt to new tools for access. So the system project should be able to adapt the new tools because different different tools comes in the market time to time uh, which will help us uh, to grow our business. So the project or system should be adaptable to for the new tools. As business needs change, new data mart may need to be created for new needs. Okay, next topic we are going to discuss is data mining. So what is data mining? Data mining is the art and science of discovering knowledge, insights and patterns in the data. So data warehousing, it is just to store the data structured data, valid data, intelligent data in a proper format. But discovering knowledge, insight pattern, hidden pattern, hidden knowledge, extracting such kind of information from a data warehouse that is called the data mining. It is the act of extracting useful pattern from an organized collection of the data. That's what I told. It's the act of extracting useful pattern from the data warehouse. Patterns must be valid, novel, potentially useful and undesirable. The implicit assumption is that data about the past can reveal patterns of activity that can be projected into the future. So implicit assumption is that, so implicit assumption is that, that if any customer buy one thing, then he can buy, we, we can observe that along with that one, uh, what other objects he is buying. So that the hidden pattern we can find out. The field of data mining emerged in the context of pattern recognition in defense, such as identifying a friend or enemy on the battlefield. So using uh, the data mining is uh, very useful in the battlefield where using the pattern, we can find out uh, which is our friend, which is our enemy, uh, a tank and all those things. Like many other defense inspired technology, it has evolved to help gain a competitive advantage in the business. 
for example, 